Hey guys, it's Tony and we're back on the bench and this afternoon we're going to be doing a little disassembly service on another Daiwa bait caster here. I recently uh, did one of these. It's the, uh, the Millionaire 2 5000M. Okay, it's a two ball bearing high speed bait caster and there's really nothing wrong with this reel but if you listen closely those bearings in there, they're, they're probably getting a little worn, and uh, more than likely they should just be changed out. You can clean them. It might quiet them down a little bit, but I think uh, once they start they start getting to that level, um, you know, they're, they're really only going to get worse in time. So uh, we're going to take apart this reel. We're going to show you how to do that. comes with the original box, this reel, and we've got uh, schematics and documents in here. That's always cool. So... Yeah, we're just going to get into it here. So we're going to start with taking off the, the handle. Once I can actually find my screwdriver here. But yeah, I'm going to take this reel apart. And then what I'm going to do is um, we're, we're going to measure the dimensions of, of these bearings in here. I don't think I, I have bearings that will fit this. I'll have to double check, though, just to be sure. So this is a 10 mil nut on here. Notice I'm keeping these, these parts trays nearby here. This is actually a, a broken small little, little tackle box actually, and it comes in handy for this. So you've got an E-clip here that you have to take out. And I usually will use the help of a, of a small screwdriver to make that happen usually. It's really, really hard sometimes to find anything that's going to work in there. And sometimes you have to use a couple of different tools. In this case, I think that's what I'm going to have to do because that one's on there really tight. So in this case, we'll use two small screwdrivers. And basically, you got to stop it at one end with one screwdriver, and then push out on the other end. And it's not the, it's not always the easiest task. So you just got to use some some fair judgment. But once you start pulling it out, you should be able to get under there and pry it out. And just be careful because they do have a tendency to go flying away on you. So. Put that piece in there. And it also looks like there's a, a washer that hides under there as well. So we don't want to lose that piece. And keep those all together there. Pull the handle off. Okay, you've got this, this tension washer underneath. So we're going to take our star wheel off here. Yeah, this is a great, great bait caster. Actually, it's a uh, it's very hardy. I think for as far as bait casters go. Okay, so we've got thumb screws here that we need to loosen up. Don't really need to torque these down, but sometimes they are. Loosen those up. And we're going to pull the side off. All right, so there's a bearing right there. Okay, and then we've got our spool. And then here's the other bearing here. Okay, now there's a couple of things that we need to do here in order to get to these bearings. We've got another clip right here. And, you know, we can spin this, this bearing right now and... You know, chances are this one's probably okay. I'm probably going to want to replace it anyway just because we're getting into all of this here. But here's your main bearing here. Okay. And uh, we're, we're going to take that out as well. Okay. So first and foremost, we want to take out the innards here. Okay. We're just double checking under here to make sure that there isn't anything here that's impeding the the inside of this of this reel from coming apart at this point 
doesn't look like that's the case. So we're just going to place this back on there so we don't lose it. Okay, and then we're going to take a screwdriver to these two screws here. We've got one. Sometimes these are a little stubborn and you gotta, you gotta work them a little bit. Just had to give that a little, a little persuasion there. Okay, nice and clean on the inside, so we got no issues there. That's great. This is all also very nice and clean. We just need to take all these parts out and do a little cleaning and I mean it's primarily dry okay you've got a series of washers here it's helpful to have a schematic on hand to know how these go back some of them are concave washers looks like we've got two concave washers and then two flat spacer washers so you just want to keep track of how those are oriented when you go to put this back okay and then we've got our main gear and clutch kit. Okay, and this is a friction driven anti reverse on here. And then you've got your, your yoke. Got two springs here. We're going to put all these pieces in the tray here. We're going to clean them all out, of course. Okay, friction clutch. And then we got our shaft clutch and there's a spacer washer there and we're gonna see what kind of shape this drag stack is in yeah, it's an old leather stack but so far it doesn't look too bad I've seen worse just need some cleaning Okay, so you got the clutch kit, you got the main gear right there. Okay, and then we've got this bearing here that we want to get to. So we're going to see if we can gently take this out, which we can. And yeah, this bearing, it doesn't feel bad, but spinning really really fast you know for many many years it can it can do a lot to these and so one way or another we're going to measure that and we're also going to do the other one as well so we got these little these little knobs here that always want to fall off but we've got the e-clip here and we got to get that e-clip off this is a really, really, really small one. I'm going to take that off like that. I'm actually going to put these in the parts tray because I really don't want to lose any of this stuff. Okay. And then you got that nylon gear. Okay. And then you got your bearing right here. Okay. All right, and as for the rest of uh, the reel, uh, you don't really need to get in here at all on this side, but if you wanted to, you can take these three screws apart if you got any dirt or debris uh, that's built up in there, but there's uh, basically a, a nylon or Teflon gear in there. Okay, the only other thing uh, that really should be done here is the uh, pawl and worm gear uh, should be inspected. Okay, and that's essentially all you need to do for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how that works real quick. This worm gear is actually exceptionally clean. I don't see any dirt or sand in there, so I'm probably going to just leave it in there and fill it with a little bit of oil. 
and we're going to check our Paul. But if you wanted to remove that, you would take this E clip out here, and then you can you can pull out your your Paul that, or your your worm gear that way. But you got to take the Paul out first, of course. Okay, so we're going to inspect that. Yeah, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Okay, so for the main purpose of this video, and I've got separate videos on this topic too, but we're going to take our caliper, and what we're going to do is we're going to take dimensions. We're going to take inner uh, dimensions, like so, and we're going to record that number, and we're going to take outer dimensions, we're going to record that number, and then we're also going to take the thickness and record that number. And then I'm going to go online and uh, I'm going to order up some replacements of these. And, uh, and then that way, when we're ready to do the rebuild, we'll have fresh bearings and hopefully get rid of that, uh, some of that bearing uh, chatter noise that we were hearing. So uh, I hope that information is helpful. And thanks again for watching. This is Tony with Back on the Bench. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please make sure you do subscribe and hit the notification button, and that way it'll give you all the updates as to when there are new videos being posted. And I do intend to have quite a few more coming out shortly, so make sure you stay tuned for those, and we'll see you next time.